Bin Spor ekranına hoş geldiniz. Fenerbahçe'nin medya günündeyiz. Artık Türkiye Şeyler Zero Lig'de sezon başlıyor ve biz de bu ekranda heyecanlı sizlerle birlikte özel röportajlar yaparak paylaşacağız. Konuklarımızdan bir tanesi Fenerbahçe Beko Cephesi'nde Nando Dekola. Nando, hi, welcome to Turkey. It's uh, so nice to see you here uh, from one, as one of us, not someone who is against us. Yeah, thank you, thank you. I'm really happy to, to be here too. So you just arrived here a couple of days ago. Uh, you only got to chance to say your, you know, chance to say hi to your teammates today, actually. So how are you? How is everything? Uh, yeah, um, everything is okay. Uh, it's true. Then uh, I just say hi to to all the teammates and uh, uh, all the coaching staff. Uh, but you know how is it when you you have a long summer with with the national team? Uh, you need a, a short break after that and. Uh, Uh, we need to be ready to, to go again. Uh, how was the summer for you? Of course, getting a medal in World Cup uh, is something huge. Uh, but how do you feel after such a long summer? Uh, I'm feeling good. Uh, I mean, it was a great summer for sure. Uh, even if it's not the, the medal we won, because uh, uh, we were on a good way to, to go to the final. But you know how is uh, basketball. Uh, but finally, we still have this uh, bronze medal and we are qualified for the Olympic Games. So uh, at the end, it's still a, uh, a good summer. Of course, uh, let's talk about the earlier times of summer because uh, when the signing happened, it was a shock for most Fenerbahce fans, a shock that made them very happy. But uh, how did this happen throughout the whole process? You know, I'm sure you had a lot of offers on the table, uh, but what made you what made you choose Istanbul and Fenerbahce? Uh, yes, I have few offers, uh, but you know the uh, the first part of the story is uh, you know uh, why I want to to leave uh, CSK Moscow. I uh, I thought then uh, uh, it was time for me to to see something different. Uh, I won almost everything with uh, with uh, this team, so it was time to to get uh, new goals and uh, and uh, to to be part uh, and do what I can do on the court with another team is uh, is a big challenge for me. Uh, after during the summer, we we start to talk with uh, a few team, and uh, the main priority was uh, for sure Fenerbahce. Uh, for a lot of reason, it was the uh, the best decision uh, to take for me and uh, and for my family. Of course, I think this changes uh, something uh, mental because uh, are you players, you know, being this successful in one team, get comfortable, you know, in some kind of a comfort zone. Is this why you uh, wanted to make this change? Did you feel like that? Yeah, exactly. I don't want to 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 be comfortable in my, uh, you know, in my uh, basketball way. I mean, like uh, I always want to to have more and, uh, and and try to do my best to to win more titles. Uh, and like I say, I really thought then it was time to to see something else and to don't uh, make one or two more years. Then uh, I will maybe regret at the end. Uh, so when I took the decision to 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 leave, uh, I uh, I start to 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 think about what can. Uh, what can be the best option for the, the future. Of course, over here, Fenerbahce has made uh, such a run in the last couple of years. Uh, the team structure has been kept from many years ago. So what attracted you the most with this roster and team? Um, there is a lot of things. Uh, I mean, uh, first of all, uh, when I always take a decision, you know, I talk with uh, with my agent in one uh, part, but especially with, uh, with my wife, because we, you know, we, uh, as a family, we, we we all do together. So where I go, they they will come with me. So it's always important to uh, to know her point of view. Uh, she know a lot about basketball because she was a professional basketball in the past in in Spain. So she uh, she knows what can uh, be really important for me and for my career. Uh, so so when we 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 talk about Fenerbahce, the there wasn't a lot of doubt uh, about uh, you know the way to to come here uh, first of all we know that the team is playing really good this uh, uh, last five season uh, the coach is uh, the best one in uh, in europe they they have great fans a great atmosphere uh, 
uh, and uh, and they will they will always fight for for more titles. You mentioned coach, of course. Uh, you worked for Coach Itudis for the last five years. Who worked with Coach Obradovic uh, the past 13 years before that? So, what kind of similarities do you see, you know, uh, with, between these coaches? I don't know yet. Uh, you know, I can uh, ask of this question at the end of the season when I will have. Uh, uh, some uh, 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 some regard of that uh, of the the, the coach Obradovich, uh, but uh, I think for sure they got the same philosophy of uh, of the game, and uh, this is what I like. You know, uh, I talk really quick on the phone with uh, with coach Obradovich, and uh, uh, you know I'm really happy the the way he see uh, this uh, this new season for me and for the team. I'm sure you have some ideas, though, because you have seen those kind of timeout speeches coaches gave on TV. So, who do you think is looking more scary? Uh, you know, uh, I, I never scare about a coach uh, because I know if he's doing something like this, is because we did wrong and uh, he wants to to make us even better. Uh, you know, there is a, a difference between uh, uh, a coach who make. Uh, uh, the team going uh, on the good way, even if it's sometimes it's tough, and uh, some coach who are just yelling, just for yelling, you know. Uh, but uh, when it's about basketball, I don't have any problem. I, I think the uh, the most important thing is to have a, a really good uh, uh, professional relationship uh, and to to be on the same page to to make the team better. Uh, after, if you can have this uh, this. Uh, uh, human being uh, relationship is even better, uh, but you never know about that. And uh, I think here, what I hear about, uh, the, you know, the player and uh, and the people who work with Coach Obajovic is uh, this kind of coach, really tough on the court and uh, and uh, and really careful with the player outside. A little bit like Popovic, you know. Mm -hmm. Of course, you worked with a coach like Popovic too, and of course there is. Let me go way back. Armand Kuntar in your past and a really good relationship over there. So did you talk to him before you signed with Fenerbahce? No, you know, it was during the summer and everything went really, really fast. fast. And uh, uh, at this moment I was with my family. So, you know, when you have a long season, you stay with your family. I like, don't pay attention too much at what's happened uh, on the side. Uh, uh, but uh, you know, he is true. Then uh, my first coach was Herman Guter, so uh, uh, a legend here in uh, in Turkey, and, and we had uh, from the first moment a good relationship. Yes. Uh, of course, not that I think that you need to talk to anyone to sign with Fenerbahce, but maybe about the city and the life over here. So after living in Moscow for five years, this is going to be a big difference for you and for your family. Yes, it's going to be a, a big different one, but. You know, we, we used to travel a lot. I mean, my wife is Spanish, I'm from France, and uh, we traveled together to the United States, to Canada. After that, we went to, 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 to Moscow. Uh, our daughter is, uh, uh, know about our life, so to come, for sure, her first house was Moscow, but to come here, she's really exciting, you know. Uh, this morning she she woke up and really happy to go to 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 her new school. Uh, so, you know the the city is not a, a, a big deal for us. I mean, for sure it's part of the decision. But uh, uh, Moscow, like Istanbul, they they are a big city where it's good to live. It, it is a big city. Uh, the same kind of a traffic with Istanbul, so you're not going to be a stranger to that. Uh, of course, uh, this season it's not that you're going to have a lot of time in Istanbul because it's even be going to be busier than ever. Uh, two more teams, so a lot, a lot more games. Uh, how is this going to be for you? Because, I mean, as professional players in Europe for so many years, you are used to this, but uh, with the FIBA calendar and uh, EuroLeague calendar being so close to each other, how is this going to be for you? Uh, it will be like, you know, uh, like every season, it will be long and tough and, uh, and we need to, to really think about this. We know that the beginning of the season is really important, but even more is what's happened at the end. Uh, you know then uh, 
uh, it's your job to, to, to take care of everything, not just coming on the court and, and play basketball. It's everything uh, on the side, you know, to do the treatment, to do the, the, the weightlifting, to, to have a good rest and to enjoy your family because, you know, everything is going together. When everybody is happy, you know, you, you play a, a much better uh, game on the court. And, uh, and, and now we, we know how to do it, you know, so, so it will be okay. So staying healthy in such seasons is uh, actually kind of one of the biggest problems, especially last year, Fenerbahce had a lot of problems with this. Uh, as personal uh, players, as individuals, uh, what do you do for this? Uh, I know how it's important because what's happened to Fenerbahce next season, it's happened to, to us with Moscow uh, two, two years ago. You know, you get uh, injured when it's the worst moment of the season and, uh, and at the end it's really tough to, 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 finish, uh, to finish good. Um, I think I try, you know, year after year to, to, uh, uh, to have a, a good group of people who's working with me. For sure, you get all the, 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 the medical staff uh, with the team, but I still have, you know, uh, French people who follow me during the season. They, 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 st they, they, they try to be in contact with the team to know exactly how we can work together and uh, to, to provide all kind of, uh, of injury. Of course, uh, we have talked about it. That was a big problem last year. So let's talk about what you can bring to this team because during those injuries, closing out games were uh, such a big problem sometimes because when you have a shorter rotation during a game, you get tired at the end of those games and uh, taking those shots even gets harder and harder. So about that, what kind of uh, uh, role do you expect? Uh, you know, uh, I expect to have the, the same role I had uh, uh, in Moscow. I mean, uh, I want to be here to, to do my best like I did uh, every year of my, uh, every season of my career and, and to, to do my best for the team, uh, to, to, to know how to play with all the players and, and to do it uh, quickly. Uh, after, uh, like we, we talked before, you know, uh, both coaches here and uh, in CSK, they got the same philosophy of the game, so uh, it will not change a lot of, of my game. I know, they know exactly why they bring me here, so I will just try to do, to do the same and, uh, uh, you know, and bring this uh, extra energy and, the, and my experience to, to this team. Uh, the fans especially expect your experience, experience on this matter because they did not forget what you did here, over here. Actually, that was over there and uh, are in the back uh, where you had a big game winner against Van Arbarch. Uh, how many game winners do you have in your professional career? I don't know, a um, few. <laughs> a couple. Uh, yeah, a couple. <laughs> where would you rank that one? Because it was against such a crowd and in a tense game. Yeah, I think it's maybe the, the, the best one uh, because we, we were at uh, one part of the season where uh, this, this win was really important for us and uh, uh, I remember the, the practice before the game, we, uh, we start to, to be a little bit hungry to, to, to lost against Fenerbahce every time we, we play them. Uh, so um, I think it was maybe one of the, the best ones, but uh, don't worry, like I say before, because everybody asked me about this shot, you know, the pass is the pass, the most important is what I'm going to do with, uh, with Fenerbahce right now. Oh, of course, but you said that every time you faced against Fenerbahce with Ceska, it was a big rivalry. It happened to be a big rivalry in 2016, so you took a last second shot over there too. Uh, you missed it, but Viktor Hryapa took the most hurtful rebound in yeah. Turkish basketball yeah, history. Maybe. And I mean, you had the best angle maybe <laughs> in the gym. So when you remember to those, back to those moments, what, what yeah, you Yeah, yes. Uh, okay, the last shot was really uh, a desperate shot. I mean, it wasn't what we, we, we want to do exactly. I remember Milos was a little bit in trouble with the ball and I just tried to help him. And I shot the ball, but it wasn't a... 
uh, a really good shot neither. After we were lucky, then uh, then Victor took uh, took the ribbon and make it to go to the overtime. Uh, and uh, I think it was just our time, you know, sometimes uh, uh, the ball go in, sometimes the ball go out, but you need to, to keep fighting for that and, uh, and this final uh, was, uh, was for us, yes. You were uh, the MVP in that, that final for 30.1 games, 22 points in the next one. So that was a huge performance, of course, but you have had such a performance next to guards like Aaron Jackson and Theo Dasic sharing the role. Uh, you have had many experiences like that. From those rotations to the guard rotation over here, what do you expect? Um, I expect exactly the same. I mean, the most important is not uh, uh, what, you, uh, what you want to do on the court. The most important is how you can do it. I mean, uh, why it worked good uh, in the past with Milos is because we always had this uh, uh, this uh, this feeling to to play together and uh, we have this talk to to know how we can make the team better and how we can play together uh, it's not uh, him on one side and me on the other side it's just us together and uh, it's what we did after that with uh, for example player like uh, Chacho Rodriguez or, or, or Corey Higgins I mean we we just learn and uh, uh, from the practice, how how to 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 play even better every game together, and it's what I, I would try to do here for sure. But still, I would like to ask because you played with Tony Parker too in national team in NBA. You had such big uh, role in those situations with those guys. Who you know? Who was it that you liked? You know, being on the court or sharing the role with? Um, <laughs> you know, uh, like you say, I always have. Uh, player around me, uh, good, really good player, and uh, and basketball for me is not just one player. Is uh, you know sharing the the ball and sharing the uh, the play on the court is how you can succeed. Is what, for example, we did this summer because we were talking about the national team with Evan Fournier, for example. We got similar game, but uh, when you you know how to play with uh, with your teammate is even better. Um, now I think I really have uh, had a good time with uh, with Milos Todosic. Uh, you know, it was the, the um, my first really experience in Euroleague. It was with Moscow, even if I had one year in uh, Valencia in the mm -hmm. past. And uh, you know, to play but with it was a different uh, level. Exactly, it wasn't the same. You you didn't fight for the for the same goals. Um, with all the respect I have for, for Valencia, you know, you arrive in CSK and with uh, a player like Milos Teodosic who, who won almost everything in his career before that, it was uh, really good to have this uh, chemistry uh, uh, between each other. Of course, there's this one thing, uh, CSK is one of the best clubs, biggest clubs uh, with the culture in Europe, but uh, they have this culture going on and everything, but the fan attraction over there isn't the same where you're going to have, you know, this attaché atmosphere. Mm -hmm. uh, so with this kind of a chemistry included in the picture, how do you feel? Yeah, it's great. Uh, it's uh, a great feeling. When I say I'm really happy to be there, it's not uh, uh, just about the player, or about the coach, or about the club. Is everything, you know, and the fans is part of that. Uh, I mean, uh, when you are a basketball player and uh, and you play at this level, you uh, you like to to have this kind of atmosphere in every game, and and you know when some game will be. Uh, tougher than, than other one, uh, they will support you and they will bring this energy to, uh, to, to, to win the game and, uh, and this is really important. Uh, being against these kind of fans, uh, there are a lot of arenas that are tough, but where would you rank Fenerbahce fans? <laughs> uh, top three, easy, yeah. Mm. I mean like, uh, uh, I was really surprised when we play against a Red Star because I never play against them and uh, when we came like 30 minutes before the game and it was already full uh, I was really surprised it happened once because the second year they got some problem with uh, with uh, their, their fans but uh, the first year I was really surprised but after that you know with uh, 
uh, maybe uh, Panathinaikos, who got a lot of fans too when we play uh, my first uh, uh, Euroleague playoff, for example. Uh, Fenerbahce, yeah, for sure, is one of the best ones. Of course. Uh well, we are going to talk about the in-game situations, but you haven't played a game with your team because of the schedule. But I'm sure you have these ideas in your mind. What can happen here? What could happen when you're included in the picture? Uh, what do you see? I mean, you have, I'm sure, watched, uh, you have been watching the pre-games, uh, pre-season games. So what do you see in the team? Um, I think there, there, there are a lot of players with, uh, uh, with a lot of experience who know how to play basketball here and this is really important for me. Uh, I mean, we, we still have some players who uh, with injured, uh, but they, they will come back in the team and right now we need uh, to just fight like a, uh, like a team and find this, uh, this uh, team spirit to, uh, to be better day after day. Uh, we're going to have the, the, the first practice all together to, tomorrow and it will be interesting to, to see how the, the things are, are going on. When the calendar was announced, uh, we have seen that Fenerbahce had uh, you know, uh, four road games in the first five games. I thought that it would be a disadvantage, but actually thinking about it now, uh, knowing that you guys didn't have that camp atmosphere a lot, uh, I think it's going to be an advantage. What do you think? Yeah, maybe we we will see. I mean, uh, to get that team spirit. Yeah, that you mentioned. yeah. I mean, like uh, you know, it's good to be together, uh, but uh, uh, it's good to 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 have your uh, private life on the side too, and to you know to to spend uh, to to spend time you know with the team and and with your family. Uh, but for sure, the beginning of the season will be really important anyway, and. Uh, to be on the road, it will, uh, it will bring this, uh, this chemistry, yes. In circumstances of versatility in this team, of course, during a season which is such a long one, uh, you have to have different weapons. Um, we, we are going to see a lot more post-up games, I believe, because with the size the guards have right now, uh, I'm thinking that is going to be an advantage, that is something gonna, uh, extra. Uh, what do you think, in this kind of circumstances, uh, what do you think will happen? Like you say, I mean, like we need to have a lot of weapons during the season because it's not just about our team, it's also about the, the, the opponent. I mean, you, you can play just post-up during all the season, you need to to mix your game and I'm sure then, you know, the coaching staff is uh, enough, uh, got enough experience to, to know about that. Uh, but uh, at the end, you know, to, 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 to get better during the season is to, uh, to put the trust in all the players. Like you say, it's a long season, we will need to, uh, to, to have a, a group of players who, uh, who everybody can play and this will be important. Uh, of course, switching defense is a big part of Coach Obradovic's game. It's a big part of anyone's game, actually, in this uh, modern basketball situation in Europe. But, uh, you know, it takes time a little. Uh, you know, every player needs to get to know each other. How long do you think it's going get, to get for you to perfect that point? I think it will take the time we, we, we need to, to, to take. Uh, I mean, the, the earliest possible will be, will be great, but, but we never know. Uh, and, and finally, is uh, how we, we're going to trust the, the system or not uh, in offense and especially in defense. I mean, if everybody is on the same page, it can, it can be really, really fast to do. Of course, these kind of things also depend on your opponents. Uh, well, the Euroleague season in the summer has been such a big one. Barcelona for the start uh, have been spending a lot of money. Milan, on the other hand, what kind of opponents, what kind of a competitive situation will, will you have in the league? Uh, it, will be, it will be even tougher than, than last season. I mean, your league is getting really, uh, really stronger. You know, a lot of players from, uh, from NBA are coming back. And, uh, and uh, if you want to play in your league, there is not so many teams. Uh, finally, it's 18 teams where you can, uh, where you can uh, play your league. So, uh, uh, for sure, it will, it will be tough, and uh, and uh, uh, I think then then we uh, we we have the team to to compete against uh, everybody. Of course, one of the biggest competition for Fenerbahce last year was against FS, and you have played against FS in the final four. Uh, it was tough to stop Shane Larkin in that matter, and Fenerbahce took a hard time with that too. Uh, 
in the Turkish Basketball League finals also. So what kind of a competition, domestic league competition, do you also expect? Because it's been going on like this for so many years now that the same roster uh, are facing against each other once again. What do yeah. you expect there? Uh, I think it's uh, almost the same in, uh, in every domestic <laughs> league. I mean, uh, they have maybe two, three, maximum four teams who can fight for, for the final. Uh, but, uh, you know, the domestic league is uh, for sure important and we need to, uh, to, uh, to do all our best during the season. Uh, to to uh, to to go to the playoff. Uh, when we will be in a playoff, it will be a different uh, uh, mentality, and uh, you know the the way to to see the games will be totally different because it's uh, is uh, fighting for 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 the title. Uh, FS is a is a really good team. I mean, uh, uh, last year they they did a great job. Uh, they they. Maybe surprise everybody with uh, with the final four. They didn't surprise me because they they did a great season. Um, and after what they did in uh, in the Turkish league was uh, was a great uh, accomplishment for them. So uh, it's good. And this happened last year. Now we we will all be motivated to to get back all this title. By the way, after that final, I remember you were on the court with your four. <laughs> they all yeah, exactly. daughter. So yeah. it was a difference and she was so small. Mm. I'm I couldn't imagine how important that was for you to have her over there with you know, have your whole family over there. Yeah, it was it was great. I mean like there is uh, no better emotion to have uh, when you your family is with you because uh, like I say like I say, you know, family is uh, really important for me. And, uh, and my wife knows how basketball is important too. She knows what is winning the Euro League or winning the VTB League or even the medal we, we won this summer. Uh, and, and this is, uh, you know, a lot of moment where you don't spend with your family. So when we won the Euro League next, uh, last season, uh, I explained to my uh, older daughter uh, what that means and uh, this is why I'm going to practice every day. This is why I'm going on a trip every every two, three it's days. It's getting harder now that they are getting older, right? Mm, yeah, it's yes, it's true. It's true then uh, yeah, sometimes it's tough for them to uh, or for her for the moment to understand when I'm not at home uh, and even more during the, the summer. Uh, but uh, yeah, what my wife did uh, last uh, last year and coming by car until uh, until uh, Victoria to to see the final, it was uh, it was great. I'm sure she's I mean bigger now, but we're gonna see similar pictures over here too. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Nando. Thank uh, you. We uh, will see each other a lot of during the season. Okay, great. So thank you. Peki Nando Dekolo ile birlikteydik Fenerbahçe Beko'nun medya gününde Dekolo ve başka oyuncular ve Koç Obradoviç'in röportajlarını Wien Sports ekranlarında sizlerle buluşturuyoruz. Tabi Euroleague sezonunda birlikte olmaya devam edeceğiz. Hoşçakalın.